Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, and welcome to a new series of Interstellar Transport Company. The guys have put out their 0.3.0 patch, and it is huge. Look at all this new stuff. We've got new cargo types. We've got updated ship slots, new buildings, new events, balance improvements, changes to the screens, um, changes to the right mouse, oh, to resizable AI or screens and uh, bug fixes and all sorts of crazy stuff. So we're going to get right into it and enjoy all the exciting changes. If you want to read them all, just push pause. I mean, that's why they're here. Um, so we're going to start up a new single player game. We are going to go with a custom game. I'm going to use those settings right there. Pretty high challenge. I've got the difficulty set to hard. Um, we, of course, are going to be uh, vanilla. Transport. Actually, um, I should name this after Y-E-J-K-O Transport. Um, Edward Panieko is a uh, new um, a Patreon supporter at uh, the $25 a month level. Very generous with his support. So we're going to go ahead and name our company after him. Thank you so much, Edward. I really appreciate it. He's on his second month of support. There we go. And we're going to have three AI opponents. They're all set up right there. Let's go ahead and start the game. Now we are going to be playing on the random map. And you never know what you're going to get when you play with the random settings. Spoiler alert, that's why they're called random. Let's um, take a look at what we have here. So our star is Kivolt. We have a moon to go to. like that. Basically, that's our equivalent of Mars. I'm going to go ahead and just grab up one of these uh, gates real quick. The AI has definitely gotten greedier about grabbing up gates. And then our home system here, we have uh, po Poleva. Sure. Uh, let's get a gate there. I'm going to go ahead and grab two gates, because we will need two. And the price goes up fast. And then Asen... Asente? Asente? Sure. Uh, grab a couple of gates on Asente. All right. So there's our start. So one of the first major improvements that's very helpful is when you start a new route and you go to add a stop, the screen disappears so you can see what you're doing. So nice. And here we'll see another improvement where you can set your wait for full load, don't wait, etc. Oh, look at that. I didn't know you could do that. Um, so you can do that for everything, which is really handy. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do this. And then we're going to um, go ahead and set those. Well, I guess that's fine. I don't want to pick those things up. I do want to have a wait for a full load on those. And the rest of these things were not really... Um, doing right now so the, here's our new commodities we have stellarium which is like oh there's robotics which i don't i'll i'll go into the uh detail screen and we'll look at these in a minute here let's get our second stop set up basically we want to get a just a general stop set up now here on ascente we want to set this to pick up none and we will only pick up those things i don't think they're really generating anything else so there we go great well we don't really want to wait for a full load so, good. Okay, so we'll leave those set up the way they are. Good. There is a setup. Let's go ahead and close that down and get our first ships going. So, I'm actually going to buy... We have the one that holds 20, and we have this one that holds 25. Fuel usage full, 17.2. And on the doing, 17.0. So, this one is a more fuel efficient one. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get that one. Let's do it. So we're going to set one up for food. And it's going to be on our only route. So there we go. We're all set. Yes. Order ship. Um, let's go ahead and unpause it so we can stagger our ships a little bit. We're going to order one for water. And wait till it's the third. There we go. And then we will order a final one for passengers. And I might be, it might be wise to even get a machinery. Well, I don't know. I think I'm going to hold off on the machinery one. Let's go ahead and order a passenger ship. And do I want to order one to deliver stuff to that little moon yet? Hmm. 
it does need food and water. But it, but it seems like you always lose a lot of money if you start out sending ships across that thing early. So I think I'm going to pass on that. Um, I, it might be worth getting our third gates or maybe doing a... a oh, look at this. They've got the building thing set up over on this side. I love it. So nice. Um, maybe doing... A, well, we have an office. If we built like a taxi... Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Taxi services we can't afford. Um, that would, would not have been so bad, though. All right. No, no, no. Cancel. I do not want to do that. That would be preposterous. All right. So now we just have uh, some time to kill. So um, let's turn up the speed. Whoops. Let's not do that. I think that was F2 that did that. Not necessary, though. All right. So we've got a little bit of profits coming in. Now we do start with a $100,000 loan, which is going to be kind of expensive on our monthly uh, profits because the loan repayments. So it might be worth trying to pay off that loan as soon as we get ourselves up to $100,000. I'm going to see if we end up with a lot of ships hovering around, but it seems like they've kind of balanced out as far as the back and forth transport goes. So, yeah, maybe I don't need to worry about that so much. Um, you can see that the demand for food and water is already dropping pretty quickly. And I might need to switch those guys to going over to our little moon over here instead. I'm going to actually grab up that gate. But I think as soon as they start delivering to that moon, it's going to be trouble because we're not going to be able to deliver quickly enough to overcome the cost of the fuel. That's that's my experience if you try going, you know, basically try going to Mars this early. Um, we do have our planet rotating on the opposite. It's going counterclockwise, which is always interesting. Um, doesn't really cause any problems or anything, but seems like sometimes... Oh, and look, the moon is... Um, Geosynchronous? Or, nope, it just rotates very, very slowly. I guess it wouldn't necessarily be geosynchronous because we don't see the rotation of the planet below. Oh, it looks like the planet's actually rotating this way and the moon is rotating that way, so that's absolutely not geosynchronous. That's, I would say, if there's an opposite of geosynchronous, it would be that. Uh, so we had. We're losing $9,000 a month on loan repayment, so that is why it would be nice to repay that. We owe $90,000, so we have a little while to go before we can afford to repay it. Uh, we are pretty close to Palenque, and their demands are going up. I wonder if, well, because what I think, yeah, look at this. I mean, they basically don't demand anything anymore. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and take my ships and just reassign them. They do still demand... Well, they don't even demand machinery, honestly. Yikes. So, what are robotics? Robotics, produced by robotic factories, they require two machinery and one consumer goods. Wow. Okay. Machinery. Yeah, that develops planetoids to get up to the maximum uh, uh, get up to the full productivity or development right um, okay so I still want to keep the rare resources going back and forth I mean I feel like that's probably our only profitable thing right now are the rare resources going back and forth so I don't really want to lose that ship um, the passengers coming from Paleva going to Palanque, and Palanque is that moon, right? So, yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to buy a food ship. And we're going to send that one. Oh, I guess I need to set the route first for, uh, for this. So we're going to um, new route, add stop from Paleva to Palanque. 
Polkani. There we are. Uh, on Paleva, we're going to wait, 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 wait for full load. That's good. And on Palanque, we are going to um, wait for those things if they're available. I'm not even sure what Palanque, what do they got going on here? They demand machines. Oh, they have a slight production of raw materials. Nice. And what are raw materials good for again? Raw materials are used to produce consumer goods. Okay. And they, we also produce consumer goods here somehow, which is weird. Okay. Um, so we're going to purchase a new ship. And where do consumer goods are carried in the, no. Mm hmm Goods storage? Interesting. So if I want to get consumer goods, do they demand consumer goods? Nope, they supply consumer goods here. They demand consumer goods on the moon? Barely. So right now consumer goods are just not a practical thing to transport back and forth. And it looks like dry hopper yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to focus on food and stuff right now. So we're going to do a food one to go back and forth to Pokani. Order ship. Um, I guess we're not going to buy another one quite yet because we just don't have enough money. But our water one, we are going to reassign to the Pokani route. Save, and our passenger one, same thing. We're gonna reassign that to the Polkani route. Save, I said save, there we go. Oh, and how, so how does the, uh, how does the resize thing work? What does this do? All right, so if I wanna resize it. Hmm, whoa, okay, holy mackerel. You can definitely resize, <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and unpause it. We've got $23,000. I need about $40,000 to buy another ship. And I do want to get, I think I want to get a machinery ship going back and forth to Polkani. Polkani, Pol okay, I'm saying it right this time. End of the month is coming up. We're going to see what happens to our finances when we reach the end of the month. Our planets are moving further and further apart. That I guess should be expected. And let's see what kind of profitability we're looking at for these ships. 6,000, well, 5,000, and nothing. That's too bad. <laughs> Why did that one carry nothing? So this one's empty, of course. And this one also, as you would expect, is empty. Hmm. And here we have, looks like some food heading over there. That's nice. Wait a minute, only 20. Why not 25? Did I get the wrong kind of ship? Oh, well. These things happen, I guess. And down here, meanwhile, I was going to say, we should still have one ship going back and forth. That's the food one. The mo main thing I want to see is uh, $3.26. Why aren't you picking up um, rare resources? Right? Okay. And there's rare resources waiting to be delivered. A whole bunch of them. Let's, uh, I, close please. Let's take a look at our routes here. On Ascente, rare resources. Yeah, I mean, you should be, there you go. How about you wait for a full load? That's your primary concern now. Let's see how it does. Uh, okay, now it has rare resources. And it only makes $3 hauling those rare resources back? What the what? That doesn't make any sense. Well, that ship's not really making any money. And we have a negative amount of cash, unfortunately. So that's not good. 25 passengers and 25 water heading over here. I like that. It's going to take a very long time for them to get there, though. Hmm. All right, so what are we looking at here? Rare resources, we have 
Oh, it's because there's so many already here. And, ah, there's no demand. That's why it's not making us any money. I gotcha. So this ship, I mean, it's still profiting, I guess. So I guess we'll keep it going. But the food demand, I mean, there it goes. Food demand is down to zero. Maybe I would be better off rerouting that ship to the the uh, Mars route, basically. The effective Mars route. Going to wait till it is heading back towards Earth. There we go. And we're going to go ships. And that's this one. The only one left on this route. And we're going to reroute that to... Uh, yeah, that one. Great. Do it. $7,000. Okay, so now we are making money. Um, bizarre. Alright. We're on top speed, so not much I can do about that. Got all of our ships going on their little routes here. Of course, they come back empty, as expected. What do we got waiting on... Yep, lots of passengers wanting to go to Polkani. So... There's that. Um, I, all of my ships are on the Polkani route, so I can't, I can't get any more going. It's weird that this cargo 17%, because it's, f it should be 50%, right? It's full on the way there and empty on the way back. Probably has to do with the distance, um, the distance between the two or something like that, would be my guess. Got a repair ship coming out for Virg, Virgin, Virgin. Virgin Space Lines. Pirates! What did the pirate message say? The pirates were warded off by Panyeko transport after damaging the ship. Oh, oh, that's us! Hmm. Okay. Well, that's too bad. $8,800 for that one, not bad, although we're at negative 3,000 something, so we're in danger of uh, going broke. Um, I think that if you have so many months of negative cash flow, it will automatically declare bankruptcy. That'd be a real bummer if we couldn't even make it through one episode, but at the same time, if we're not making a profit, we're going to be in some trouble, but we can't really make a profit delivering stuff back and forth from Ascente to Earth, or to whatever. Ascente to P Paleva. We're down to negative $17,000, so we are losing more money than ever. Hmm. Well, that's not good. So, it's starting to feel like maybe the, the um, at least on this harder difficulty level, that the... Oh, there's there's a colonization ship. That's one of the new um, the new uh, things here is the colonization ships. So they're sending this colonization ship out to look like Balrose, Balrose, which there you go is one of the moons on this planet over here. I assume it's one of the moons. Oh, what are we looking at? Oh no, it's the actual planet. Cool. Um. Anyway, so there's a. Uh, colonization ship going out there, so we know that they're going to be building a colony on Balrose. But it's not going to do us any good, because we'll be bankrupt. Um, we're at negative $30,000. We haven't even paid off our loan yet, so there's really no, um, really nothing we can do to uh, uh, switch ourselves back to profitability. So there's not enough profit going between Ascente and Paleva. And there's it's impossible to make a profit going from Ascente to Polkani. So I'm not really sure how I sh could possibly be making money in this game. If we didn't have the loan, I bet you we would be at least breaking even. Let's see how everybody else is doing. So we're all losing money on a pretty equal basis. Um... Although Blue Origination does have a profit, their expenses are also very high. Their company is actually worth something, unlike ours. It's not. It's worth six hundred thousand dollars, whereas ours is worth 
I would assume zero or some sort of negative amount of money. Yeah. And everybody has cash on hand. So... The AI is better at this than I am. Well, this is definitely a change from our previous experiences playing this game. If you watched some of the older series, you know that I generally um, kind of raffle stomped the AI on this. But uh, it could be a matter of the new, um, the new balances. It could be a matter of I've just forgotten how to play. The AI is smarter, a uh, combination of some sort of those factors. But uh, the point is, is we are, we would be bankrupt if the game wasn't for some reason not bankrupting us. I don't quite understand why it's not bankrupting us. We're in a hopeless, hopeless downward spiral and we really should be going bankrupt based on the um, um, conditions of the game, right? Like I'm, pretty sure the game says that if you get below like if you have a negative balance for so many months in a row that you'll go bankrupt so um well uh this was uh worth a shot um we're gonna start a new game on the next episode so don't despair uh be sure to join me for the next one if you've enjoyed this one i'd love to hear your thoughts uh click the like button and uh thank you so much for watching everybody i really appreciate it and we'll see if we can do better. I think we'll just start on a standard system rather than a random system and uh, see how things go from there. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye.